Doodle. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Chef Velo, back with another banging video today, you guys. I have to apologize to you guys. It was rough, those last couple videos. I was having problems with my camera. It stopped on me. Got it going and stopped again, so... I just want to say I'm sorry to my fans. I apologize to you guys for all the difficulties that I was going through that night. But tonight is a new night. And tonight is banging. I'm back with a great show tonight. We're doing chicken salad wraps tonight. We're doing chicken salad wraps tonight. Are you guys ready for tuning in with your boy Chef Velo? We got spinach wraps going on. We have regular wrap. This is a tomato wrap. My wife got that. We got shredded lettuce. And a quick way to do your chicken salad, if you don't have the chicken already prepped, already done, stop by your neighborhood store and get your rotisserie chicken. All right? Something real quick and simple. Breaking the meat off the bone. I'm going to put a little dressing in there. A little green onions. It's going down. Thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Velo. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we're back. So, we have our rotisserie chicken. And so what I'm going to do, I got this bowl right here. I'm going to pick all the meat off the bone. You know what I mean? Pick all the meat. Make sure your hand's clean. People are going to eat behind you. So I'm picking all the meat off the bone. Because what I'm going to do... We're going to chop it up and make chicken salad out of it. Oh, yeah. So, I hope you guys are ready for the holiday this week. It's a big holiday. You know, I always do it big on Thanksgiving. But this year, I'm not cooking. I'm going over to my mom's house or my aunt. And I'm just going to show up with the camera. And I'm just going to surprise them. You know what I mean? We're talking about KYs, talking about greens, turn up some mustard mix with ham hocks. We're talking about chicken dressing, duck dressing, sweet potato pie, coconut pie, pecan pie. I mean, homemade things, not from the store. My mother and aunt, they get busy in the kitchen. I mean, when they burn, they burn the house down. So, it's going to be a nice show to do it with my mother and my, uh, my aunt. Actually, I was supposed to go down south and do a video, actually where I'm from, Shelby, Mississippi, do a video there, but you know how things, things come to play, and it's still not over yet, but I don't know how things are going to work, because we got certain people in the family, you know, it's kind of sick right now, so things happen. But I just want to apologize one more time from the last video because I was real irritated about it because I never did film like that before. And I just want to make sure that uh, I let everybody know that I apologize because I know everybody's like, I didn't see the finished product. I didn't see the finished product. So I was kind of irritated about it that, you know, things happen. But anyway, so you guys see this whole chicken. I am destroying this whole chicken, taking the meat off the bone. For anybody that's tuning in tonight, we're making chicken salad wraps. Spanish wrap, tomatoes wraps. My daughter home from school, Thanksgiving break, and uh, she want some wrap. So last time I did was a turkey salad sub. So we're going to do wrap because special tomato, tomato wrap, if you're trying to get away from the bread, and you want you want wow making stuff like everywhere, and you want different types of stuff like you want to get away from the bread. You go you shop or you eat out at Subway anywhere. Get your tomato wrap or spinach wrap. It's best for you, you know, because a lot of people want to get away from the bread. And uh, sometimes, man, it's kind of hard. But I did it before. I can get away from the bread. I lost a lot of weight. I'd have gained my weight back by eating bread and rice and you know sometimes you, you need some kind of bread it, it, you know but I'm a big meat eater and uh, 
I love meat. I don't too much care about bread or pasta, anything like that. So, I'm taking all this meat off the bone. And what we're going to do, we're going to chop all this meat up. I'm going to add some green onions. And when I do my chicken salad, I sometimes I use mayo, but I like to use ranch dressing. Same thing when I'm at Subway. A lot of people use mayo. I like ranch dressing. It just give it, a, give it a better flavor, better texture. So, as you guys see, I done broke this chicken down, like my granddaddy always say, like a double bath shotgun. So, we're going to break all this meat off here. And what I'm going to do is get my hands nice and washed. Get rid of these bones. If I have my boy still living. It's not good to give dogs the bones, but you know, I had him for 15 years. That's the only dog my wife loves. And, and you know, it just passed away about four years ago. I never cried, but I cried when my dog passed because that was my friend. I used to come home every day. His name was Tron. He was an all black American pit. And uh, he was my boy. I mean, my son, baby son, I was 14. Now, he raised up with my son. I remember one time, I'll tell you a little story right quick. My wife told me that our son was sliding off the couch. He actually held my son up with his nose and got him back on the couch. So he was a smart dog. Right then and there, my wife fell in love with him because she felt that he was protective. And also, he was smart. But I never saw her cry about a dog until he died. So you know how that goes. But anyway, let's get these balls, these paws washed off. Thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Vello. I'll be right back. So, you guys. So, we got all the meat picked off the bone. All right? So, what we're going to do now, we're going to put this meat right here. Okay? As you guys see, I got the meat right here. I'm going to try chopping this meat up. All right. You hear me? It's banging! Hey, you guys, I love when you guys follow me. You know what I mean? Today we got chicken salad wraps. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to put out another video tomorrow. Maybe some cheeseburger sliders or something else because I'm trying to get myself prepped up for Thursday is really, it's really, really going to go down. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm going to help my mom out. And. Every Thanksgiving, I always cook, but this year I'm not cooking. I'm just going to help mom out because we just got moved in, but I will be cooking Christmas. I will be cooking Christmas. I do three three meats. We're doing a ham. We're going to do prime rib, and also we're doing lamb on the grill. I'm smoking lamb on the grill. Lamb chops, baby. Y'all know what time it is. Anybody tuning in? We're making chicken salad subs today. Um, subs, wraps. Tripping. But, it's a lot of stuff that a lot of my people get at me and let me know what they want to make. And I just got stuff all lined up. There's one fan out there I haven't forgot and want me to make Chicago style pizza. And I'm going to do that. Then there's one of my fans so I go to the store, she followed me, and she wanted me to bring her some coconut shrimp, which is coming up. Everything is coming up. Mostly in the wintertime, I do a lot of soups, a lot of food that stick to you, beans and stuff like that. And we're still gonna have we're still gonna have our fun, fun time freestyle. But today I am chopping up chicken. For chicken salad. Roasted chicken as that. You know what I mean? So we're gonna put everything chopped. We're gonna put that back in this bowl. You know? We got more chicken. More chicken. 
more chicken. So I'm gonna put the chop back in. Y'all see how I did that? Smooth. But I hope everybody out there is doing fine. I hope you guys, are you guys tired of all the other stuff like the mass? We got to live. We're going to have a little church right now. We, we got to live. We know it's a virus out there, but we still have to live. And we have to protect ourselves from evil. Either or, through the water, through the food, and through the vaccine. Protect yourself. Any mean necessary. I just got to keep it real. But anyway, you know what I mean? People, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm with... I'm with your body, your choice. You know what I mean? And that's what we're about. So it's your body, your choice. You should be able to do anything with your body, not nobody else. Hope I don't get in trouble for this. I just want to talk and keep it real with my fans because I love you guys. You guys follow me. I want to keep it real. It's about keeping it real. I'm not playing into your game. It's the Racha. Pneumonitis, all that. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm just keeping it real. You know? Can't be scared out here in this world. Because people, people is not your friend. You have to wake up. They're not going to come to you and say, hey, you need to wake up. You need to watch closely. You got to listen closely. They ain't going to tell you that. Use the spirit and the knowledge and the education that God bless you with. Two eyes, your heart, and feel. You know what I mean? I ain't sleeping, though. I'm good. I'm healthy. I work hard every day. I'm strong as an ox. Like daddy say, if it don't need to be fixed, don't fix it. So, I'm gonna get back to the video anyway. Now, I, I, wanna, I just wanna let you guys know how I feel about certain things because I'm still a human being and I'm dealing with real life too. A lot of people, a lot of people hoping for the better, which I am. I'm hoping for the better, but I know I do my homework and I know what's going on. And I don't care if you listen to me, I just keep it real. You know what I mean? I love everybody. I love all color. I don't I only hate the ones that hate me. You know what I mean? But uh we got chicken salad going on today. So we're gonna get everything. Oh, I gotta clean this up. We're gonna get everything nice and clean. You'll see you got Chef Fellow back in her again. This show is banging! Thought I was gonna forget. I'll be right back. So you guys, I have my chicken in here, nicely chopped up. Okay, got me some fresh green onions. Just washed them off. Okay, got a jumbo tomato. All right. Got me some cough drop. <clears throat> Don't let nobody know. So, what we're going to do, we're going to chop this green onion up, put it in here. All right, here we go. Yeah, boy. I had to fix my light for a second. Yeah, boy. So... I have to fix my light. But anyway, we're gonna chop up this green onion. 
we're going to put this bad boy into our chicken. you guys what I do with my chicken dressing or with my chicken chicken salad I do not use mayo I use ranch dressing it's bitter bitter taste but I just squirt it in there just like that all right I'm gonna stir this back oh look at that stir that bad boy That sucks. I mean, it sucks to do it on camera in front of everybody. But we're going to stir this bad boy up just like this. Put a little bit more in there. You know what I'm saying? pepper, a little salt in there, I'm going to stir it up, I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes, oh. kids going to have a field day with chips and wraps, something quick, it's something simple, you get home, running late, stop by store, get your whole chicken, you can use that for chicken noodle soup too, but I like to boil fresh chicken when I'm doing other stuff. But tonight, I'm gonna make a quick chicken salad wrap for the kids and the wife and be done. Then I might be back on tomorrow. Then you guys will see me Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, y'all gonna see, everybody got an Uncle Pete in the family. Uncle Pete, Uncle, Uncle, uh, Uncle, Uncle Clarence, uh, Uncle Johnson. I got an uncle named Uncle Preacher, man. Uncle Preacher. I don't think Preacher ever preach. 
But his name is Uncle Preacher, so. Oh well. Anyway, we're using this for wraps. Stay tuned. Get your boy Chef Red Ball. Be right back. And now I'm back. Simple. So we're going to stir. We're going to stir, stir, stir. And we're going to put some more in here. Because one thing about my chicken salad, don't like it dry. Ah! Got a salt. Where my big boy at? Top. Black pepper. Just a little salt. My wife hear me. She might tell me, put the salt shaker down. So, a nice and black pepper chicken salad. Ah! Oh, no I don't like it. Fifteen minutes, you'll see me back here. Get ready to do that wrap. Stay tuned with your boy Chef Fellow when this show is banging. I'll be right back. So you guys, we're back. Mm. We're gonna address this plate. I think we're gonna do a tomato wrap. Tomato wrap, right there, right? Ah, where my knife? Right here. All right. I'm gonna go with a little shredded lettuce in there. I'm gonna go with some tomatoes right here. All right. Chicken salad, right here, just like that. Take that bad boy, and we roll, and we roll, we roll, we roll. Ha! Mmm. One. Take a shot. So, we got one chicken wrap right there. Spinach. That one's crap. Spinach wrap right here. Shredded cheese. Shredded cheese. Shredded. I think that little shot getting to me, you guys. Shredded lettuce. Oh! Tomatoes. Chicken salad. Right there. Woo Look at this, boy. I'm a row. Look at that. Spinach wrap. I'm going to spin everywhere. Right here. <laughs> All right, so you guys, there you have it. Let's see where this bag I want to go with today. So, we have 
got this with any kind of chip. Salt and vinegar, Doritos, whatever you want to use. Whatever. But, here you have it, my chicken wraps. Chicken salad wrap. What are we using? What do you guys want to use? You guys want to use the classic? You want to use Cool Ranch? It don't matter. Look. Look, I'm going to put both of them. I'm going to put both of these. Because I'm just greedy like that. Anyway, so there you have it. We have our chicken salad wraps. We have spinach wrap, tomato wrap. All right. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. I got two types of chips. I got sprinkle, Lay's. I got Dorito Cool Ranch. I got spinach, got tomatoes. It's banging! Thanks for watching your boy Chef Bello today. Thanks for tuning in for my video. If you like it, make sure you go to my channel. Make sure you watch it the video, like it, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in today with your boy, Chef Velo. I'm going to be back on tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I'm trying to get it in because, you know, it's been a rough week, and I just want to make sure I'm there for you guys like you guys are there for me. So thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Velo. Good night, everybody, and happy early Thanksgiving to everybody. See you soon. Peace!